Yeah, I remember. Hey, what's up, YouTube land? I got here, see Sparkle. Going to be doing some flooring stuff. Hi, and welcome to see Sparkle's Corner. Um, for those Colored of, duct tape. <laughs> for those of you that remember that we had to replumb the septic system, and when you replumb the septic system, um, we had to just literally tear the, this hall up. Well, that'd be exactly. They did it with a wet saw. Yeah. Thank so goodness it saves our back. What I'm doing is I'm retelling the, this floor. Okay, what, I, this, what you're going to need is a tape measure, a, 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 basically a ruler, but I just used the level at it, and a knife if you need to work on the corners like I've had to, and a pair of, it'll cut with a pair of scissors and some grout. But we're just going to talk in part one about this. Okay. This is the one I chose to pick. Oh, by the way, don't get those regular household scissors. Get some nice hobby scissors. A lot easier. Right. I decided to pick this color, which is called Crush Shell, because it kind of goes with our whole decor. Okay. So what I've done so far is because these can be cut with scissors, You take the measuring tape and you'll measure from the other flooring to this floor for like three inches and then you'll use a pen and mark on it and you'll do that from the side and all that. Now the advantage of that is after you, if you use a tile you can't re uncut repair it. But on this, let's say this, you can take and cut it and kind of repair on it if you like along the way. So I'm just briefly showing to you. Now this kind I've got is pre-adhesive, so. And then you measure, when you pick your, your pattern, you pick your pattern to where, to whatever side. Whatever you looks good. And, and we're going to show the ground in between. Now, I'm briefly showing it to you. So this, the beauty of this, is you lay it down like this, and you just pick, put your hand down, and you peel it. I'm not showing the details of measuring and cutting and all that because I've explained it to you and all that. And then you just crush this up like this and throw it out. Now this side has, the black side like this has the adhesive on it. So man, it, I should think it'd be difficult if you were doing black on black. So, and then you see I've got that lined up like that. So I put this to the best of my ability, and we're going to grout in between and line it up. So if it's not perfect, it's fine. Line it up like this, and then you do your dance. Do, do, do. To stick it down, because all these parts that's not perfect, you're going to grout between, you just walk around it like this. This is part one. And this sticks it down. And once you've done this, it can't come back up. Okay, that's it. So I'm going to do this for the whole rest of this floor before I grout. Oh, and but then when you go to the store to buy the grout, you just, uh, I'll cover that on the grouting. So that's it, and as always, I hope you enjoy this. This is part one of laying the new floor, and as always, we appreciate it. You guys mean everything to us, and the fun never ends in Sea Sparkles Corner, and you can see the difference between what I've done and this. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody. See you next video. See you part two.